What would you say to Sri Lankans waiting for days for petrol, pushed deeper into poverty by this cost of living crisis? Is the end in sight for them? Yeah, of course, uh, we have a program that we have been working uh, with the IMF and also uh, creators seeking that structuring. So with that program, we have presented what we call oral macroeconomic stabilizing program, including monetary policy reforms, fiscal policy reform, reform structural loan enterprises, all these things coming together, a uh, macro policy package, which will help the economy to uh, achieve what they call macroeconomic balance or stability going forward uh, once we reach agreement with the uh, International Monetary Fund. That we are waiting for that, and once we reach that, we are confident, I'm confident that we will be able to uh, stabilize the economy uh, once we um, uh, get uh, funds from uh, our multilateral uh, donors. How long will Sri Lankans have to endure food inflation running at 80% and headline inflation running at 54.6%? Yeah. Does that picture worsen, Governor? Or at what point does it really stabilise? And at what point are we going to see relief for Sri Lankans? Yeah, in fact, uh, in our inflation uh, projections and uh, predictions, uh, obviously we have seen high inflation. This, this was increasing the um, last several months. And... It will be peaking uh, somewhere in the next couple of months because it has already happened. So it will probably reach close to 7%. And But the, with our very tight multiple stance that we have been adopting since April... It will reach a peak of 70% and then it will to, start abating. Then it will start uh, coming down. And over a period of time, we are very confident that it will turn around and it will be below around, uh, say, 20% in about 12 months period. Because if you look at current inflation, it's largely because of the shortages in supplies and also one-off adjustments in prices like large depreciation of the currency, adjustment in fuel and other food prices, adjustment in gas prices. As a result, one-off increase has basically pushed inflation into a high territory. And also partly because of the previous earlier monetary expansion, high printing of money, all this have a lag impact. So combination of demand driven plus largely now supply side impact is, is basically causing this inflation. Next two, three months inflation has already happened. So basically what we can control as central bank is a future inflation and manage inflation expectations going forward. That's why we are maintaining a very tight monetary policy and we are maintaining high interest rates. This is the reason why we, we want to curtail inflation. That is the most important thing for the country, as you said, Inflation is, is, the, is, the, is, is the enemy, for, especially for poor and vulnerable. They are the ones who would be suffering most. And if inflation goes beyond control, like turning into high inflation or 100%, then no one would be able to do any kind of businesses in Sri Lanka.